Yeah, the doors are back in his battery again, as you can see here. Been five minutes on charge, and that cell was, yeah, damaged, as I was saying in the last video. It actually caused it to short, and yeah, just voltage goes straight through to those five cells. But there's no bubbling in there whatsoever. So, I'm gonna try something here. Get yourself a multimeter, and we're gonna check the voltage of that one cell alone. So, I'll put the multimeter down here, if I can, somewhere we can see it. I don't know if the camera can actually see that, but... Alright, we're going to... I've got a buggered lead, so I'm going to have to use this on the, on the outside. So I'll swap hands here. On that post. Now I'll touch the acid and see how much voltage I'm getting. 1.6 volts in that cell, and I'm only just touching the acid. You can see the multimeter reading there, it's 1.7 volts. If I measure the amp, milliamp, milliamps DC, it's obviously reverse polarity because I've got the bugger lead on the outside. Just a very rough measurement here. Nothing, no amps, so that sells bad. I'm getting the voltage, but no amps. They're bubbling a tiny bit though, so. It is bubbling very, very slightly, so it might come become um, slightly charged. So if I check this cell, check the voltage of this cell now. So I put that there. Three point nine volts. So it's that plus that one. See if we want to get it the other way here, put down a negative and we'll try again. 11.08 volts. Between that cell and the electrolyte. Let's do a continuity check. Continuity to negative for the battery. Nothing. Very, very slight beep positive to this cell. It's continuity. It's continuity, so that positive post is actually still connected inside. But yeah, that's something I didn't know. Touch the electrolyte to the post so you can measure the continuity. There you go. Alright, let's check the other cells. So it's obviously the negative half. The negative plates are buggered in there. Yep, positive, it's got good continuity. Continuity there, the positive, so that's good. So if I hit the negative plate and I get full continuity, that means it's a short to negative. That one's good, it's good short to continuity and positive. I'll check this cell. Oh, I've got continuity in there. Now I'll do the negatives after I wash my hands. Okay, have yours. Let's go again. Nope, that down there. Negative to this plate. Nothing. 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 The multiplier is slowly beeping here. Yeah, that means there's a slight short in the negative to this to this. So there's a sh the negative plates here are actually other ones that are damaged. Yeah, that's a pretty cool way to diagnose what part of the battery's failed. Very handy little um, idea. So yeah, let's get set your multiple of the continuity. Positive, do the positives. So hold that on positive and test each cell. 
for continuity. Then you do your negative test stage for continuity. Whichever one it will beep like mad to is obviously the one that's gone short here. Nothing, 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 nothing. It's just this cell. Let's do an ohms check resistance. That to the negative. See what resistance we get. Not enough to register. So there is a very slight short negative in that cell, so there's no between negative and that cell, it beeps, that these ones it don't. So these cells are fine, both positive and negative. No beeping to short, but this one here has a beep with a negative, so it's a short. And we use a very strong beep with a positive, so either way, it's a handy way to tell which cells are bad for sure. So yeah. Thanks for watching.